Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video of the Nest.js microservices. And uh, there are a couple of more videos left in the playlist. We are going to talk about Nest.js with the GRPC, Nest.js with the Kafka RabbitMQ, and then we will wrap up this whole Nest.js microservice playlist. So, what is the next thing? We talked about Nest.js with the TCP, Nest.js uh, with the TCP using Gateway and couple of microservices. Now we are going to talk about a simple GRPC. So first of all, we will try to understand what is gRPC and then we will try to write some code using gateway and uh, some services. So what is gRPC? gRPC is like a modern open source, high performance, the actual Wikipedia definition I'm talking about. It's a modern open source, high performance RPC framework that runs on any system. So that is fine. So if you understand it in the terms of RPC, in the RPC world we used to do is define a methods at the server and the client knows what all methods server has and client used to explicitly bind and call those methods from the client side. So gRPC also doing the same thing but it uses these proto files. In these proto files we define okay the, these are the methods server has, these are the written types, this is the data and these are the methods which proto file has. Like the service parameter, return types all are defined in these proto files this is called as a protocol buffer language dot proto files there you need to define all these things and then you are exchanging it similarly rpc call but in but using the protocol buffers right there is a client there is a server server is running server is exposing these uh, interfaces these methods and the client just bind that using the host and port of the server and calling that explicit method like okay temperature service is on the grpc server from the client you are just calling temperature service dot get temperature temperature service dot get weather conditions all these methods so nestjs support this rpc transport so what we will do is similarly tcp transport we will have a server grpc server running and we will create a client proxy at the client service and we will have a proto file at the client side because we know what all methods we are going to call to the server right so we will just use these proto loaders and we will use uh, grpc transport in creating the uh, nest js microservice so let's see what all we are going to do first of all we need to understand how to create the proto files what the proto file contains right so what i'm going to do here is we see the tcp based uh, okay i can still use the same gateway I will create a one service nestjs yes, uh, let me just copy this nestjs yes, grpc auth service let's say this is the auth service okay and this is http gateway inside http gateway we already have these two services right I will call it as a grpc auth so I will copy this segment So now I have creating another service is grpc auth service. So this is still synchronous request and reply based service because we will be sending request and grpc service will be responding. So we will be using the message pattern and this is a synchronous communication but on top of http v2 it's still grpc still relies on the http protocol same as the, the rest apis we are defining that also uses the http protocol. So here grpc user service or oh, sorry grpc token service or oh, let's call it as a auth service so we have a token we have a user let's call it as auth service and we need to get this instance from we will just update the config module config package we have what i'm going to do inside config we already have these uh, different services so i will add one more with the different transport so we'll call it as a auth service because we have user service auth service and this is user auth service host auth service port and transport is uh, grpc and we need to enable this params in the interface so 
So this is our auth service. Transport is of type transport, and this where I will make this uh, another attribute. So all these will go away. The the build errors. Okay, G auth service. Everything looks great now. Uh, we have auth service which is giving us some parameters okay similarly we keep adding okay kafka service or rabbit mq service those we are consuming here in this uh, and now you change the code what you are doing either you change the version so what you can do is simple thing is if you want to use this particular version just change this version to 1.0.1 and then add this dependency of this 1.0.1 there here we are using just a generic version like we are putting star in the package json okay i want so you just do use npm run build again and add the dependency there so this is my auth service http gateway we will just use nx to build this config service build and we are using gateway so i will just build this one okay now going to the gateway source a app module here we need to use here we need to get something else dot auth service okay but that is not enough what all things we needed for uh, gateway service sorry uh, for grp service we need couple of uh, parameters so what are we getting here is instead using this and service dot create in these options we need to pass couple of more attributes so here is the url url of the service and then package so which particular package it is supporting so we'll just put the package name auth and protopath so this is the client proxy dot create so these are the arguments which you need to pass like the protopath the 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 protocol buffer file where you are you have kept the proto proto definition from the correct directory current directory we will have let's say inside apps maybe totally outside we will have another directory underscore proto or inside the gateway we can have a folder proto and we will define all the proto there and we are inside currently app module so we need to go one directory up and there we have proto and let's say this is auth dot proto file okay so this is the the file path which we are passing so this is the proto path and then we have one more argument which is loaders i mean what all Types it is supporting enums string objects true. I will explain what it is. Array is true. Okay, so inside a URL we are getting from config module what we are getting the host and the port. So we can just say process dot env. Sorry, we already have a config module, right? So user service options, we'll call this as the auth service option. Auth service options dot options dot. So we have a host and we need to pass the port. So I will just get this fixed host and port. This is where our gRPC service is running. This URL is of type string. So what this uh, 
service is pointing to so there is a grpc auth service which is using this package auth which we are going to define in this proto file this url white white is complaining let's see url string package is not assignable to the parameter of custom client options url doesn't exist in the custom client options so then what is the parameter let's see client options nets options grpc options it is exposing url url is of type string okay we have proto path credentials package proto loader i mean it is supporting transport and options so inside options all these properties will go so the only mistake we have done is so what we need to do is these all are part of the options object okay this is loader so this is our options object inside options we have url now this is fixed and then we have another properties transport let me just see what is the closing so this is options transport is uh, what do we have transport grpc transport So we are already getting the transport also from the config service so auth config service options dot transport now it should fix so this is our auth config service dot create okay this still should be closing so let's create a simple proto file so this is our uh, simple gateway and here we have this grpc auth service you may have multiple services grpc auth service grpc um, user service and all currently we already have two services based on tcp we are adding third one using grpc so these are all our arguments you need to pass in the options the url package protopath loaders and the transport is obviously the grpc which we are getting from the config okay so we will talk about simple uh, hello dot proto and then we will change it so what this hello proto contains i just copied one sample example to explain what it really is why uh, there is no syntax highlighting dot proto we can just see proto file install that's it okay so what it it is showing you you can see there is a service greeter okay it has a two methods similarly in this grpc auth service we are going to have a decode token delete token validate token couple of methods which we are going to define and these are the types you have added so this is the hello request is the input this method is taking and hello reply is the the method it is returning and this is the package name so similarly what we are going to do is we have specified our package here package name is auth right so i will just build something parallelly package auth okay and then we have some methods which we are going to define so first line is the syntax proto 3 and then let's delete this package auth so similarly here the the service name is organization service so let's say 
we'll call it as a auth service and inside auth service you can have multiple methods like let's say decode token the only important part is the namings here should be the same whatever you are defining because these method names will be exposed uh, and the gateway will call these methods which are available and same method names we have to define at the uh, grpc service uh, decode token delete token validate token is same as the decode token and the other methods what we have in the auth service we can just check some code token controller decode token delete token create token that that those are enough so we have create token and here in the module we are what we are specifying in the gateway module the proto file is auth.proto so we'll just re rename it to auth.proto in auth.proto we have auth service and then this is specifying create token delete token and decode token now what all inputs we are getting so you can see inside this create token we are getting user id then uh, delete token user id and decode token there is a token string same we need to specify decode token so we can just see token request decode token request will take token as a string okay so we will just replace it with the decode token request I mean this looks similar to me what we are doing in the GraphQL schema files where we are defining query and mutation but this is a proto file something different delete token here we are taking uh, user id as an input so this is delete token request so user id which is of type string and then another input is create token so for create token we are taking a user id create token request is also taking user id as input so this is the delete token request now what we are going to return decode token what it is returning if we see decode token it is returning results maybe the the payload whatever is inside uh, so it is returning a simple user id and then delete token is not returning anything let's say and create token is returning the user id and token okay so we need to define these types let's say i specify here message create token so it is returning two things how we are doing it is like a string user id one equal to one and then string token equal to two this is create token and we have so this is a create token reply And then similarly we have delete token, decode token, delete token will do something, delete token will just return the number, boolean, let's say. So string, you can say done. I'm not sure about uh, the type here, I need to check the documentation, I'm just putting boolean for now. It's not highlighting this. Yes, bool is the type. So this is delete token. I mean, just returning one on zero. Create token. What it is going to return, we already have decode token. Here also we can return something, okay, valid or not. Boolean valid. A simple proto file, right? Now this proto file will be used by our service 
so what we will do is we will change our service implementation so this is the gateway gateway will use this auth proto file and then it is going to call this grpc auth service which is running on some host and port so what we change we need to do coming to the auth service token module that is token modules are fine going to the main.ts here transport will be transport.grpc right so once you say the transport it is going to use grpc we have to do couple of more changes so here it is grpc based microservice right so in grpc service we need to bootstrap uh, okay this is a bootstrap nestjs factory dot create microservice this is the transport what happened it is taking okay property transport is incompatible okay because we need to specify a couple of more properties and the server side what all packages it is going to use and what is the the proto files okay because client and service needs to be agreed on the same contract okay so transport and then so here transport options will have a url okay, i will just remove this so create client service token module and then transport is this and inside options will have a url tcp options it will be grpc options and then everything will be resolved okay let's not specify any type for now and inside options we have a url so inside url what do you have is the process.env host and port we'll just specify that and then you have so inside options url package auth so this we are doing at the the service side proto path the same path we will specify and the loaders which will have the same properties we can copy it from here And we can actually copy the whole options object so this is our simple token service we are going into the auth service and main.ts now here we are using token module so we need to get the host and the port which we can get from the config service config service cannot give us directly this config service dot can we get something out of it config service dot get first we need to get the instance of the config service config service dot either we do it either because we need to create the instance of this new config service because here we are not doing dependency injection so we are talking about auth service dot options dot host that is really looks like dirty this is host and this is our port we'll fix this because we need to and this is join we need to import this import path from path okay so this is our grpc service now inside a grpc service we need to make sure that it has an access to this auth proto file which we are specifying here so it is inside looking inside the proto so we can have the proto folder here
and inside proto folder we have auth proto now we just copy the same syntax with whatever we have done here so client and service knows about the contract okay now let's see we are going to write the implementation in the next part and we will see how the communication happens between the client and the service so from gateway we are going to call this grpc service and do some message exchanges we are going to hit the rest api because gateway exposes the rest interface and then this gateway is going to call this grpc service which is just exposing these simple methods 